Hello everybody, Nathan Sifu here, and welcome to the semi-finale of Hunt the Truth. Yes, that's right, the semi-finale, because, uh, well, I've already been surprised to see that they just posted the finale, and it's in two parts. There's episode 12 and episode 13. So, just a brief recap on the previous episode. Uh, ben went to a uh, facility on a glass planet, which... Uh, which had an active Oni beacon that was still preserved and in working order, and he got everything on there. He got all the dirt on Oni, everything on the Spartan program, everything on him personally, about like about himself, and about just about everything. And so now he's going to take all that, and he's going to prove the chief is innocent, and he's going to just prove that the people of Oni are a bunch of dirtbags, and he's going to bring them down. But... I don't know, somehow I feel like it's not going to happen because Halo 5 is coming, and as far as we know, everybody still thinks that the Chief is a traitor in that game. So, without further ado, let's listen to Hunt the Truth, Episode 12, Full Payload. Who the hell is this? Anthony, it's Ben Jerome. I don't have much time, but I've got something real... Ben, I, I, I didn't recognize the feet. What are you... Call me from prison or Listen, something? listen. I just sent you a location. I need you to get yourself there on Monday. Uh, Wait, you still want to tear down O&I, right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, man. We dropped that bomb and it fizzled out. Hey, people in power apparently don't give a rat. Yeah, but ass. now we've got a real payload and we're going to deliver it to real power. Look, I totally understand either way, but I'm about to board this flight. So I kind of need to know now. Are you in or out? I'm in. Yes. Okay. You are a bad you know, the Senate is Anthony, not... we don't need the Senate. And trust me, by the time we're through, every crooked, lying bastard in the UEG is going to be charged with high treason. I'm Benjamin Jarreau, and this is Hunt the Truth. My ride was about ready to leave Bliss. The freighter was fully loaded and doing safety checks. I hung back on the dock so I could make another call. Hello, this is Raymond Kurtzik. Ray, it's Ben. I Dude, what is this feed you're calling Ray. me from? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Look, I found it. Found it? We found what? Everything. What do you mean, everything? Look, I just transferred you the files. Don't say what it is. I listened as Ray opened the folder and saw everything O and I had never oh wanted God. us to see. Ben, where did you get this? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. But this is our chance, man. This is our uh, only chance to put a stop to all of this. Uh, I, I, I don't know what to say. Now, Ray had backup files on everything. And I needed one last favor. He was the only person I trusted with it. I pushed him a list of domains and asked if he'd forward every last file to everyone on it. When he saw the list of addressees, I could hear his jaw drop. After the shock wore off, though, he said he'd make it happen. No problem. Man, I really can't thank you enough. But we got him, Ray. We got him. And I promise you, no one will ever know that you helped me with Biko. I'm going to upload the rest of my story when I get back, and you won't be on any of the recordings. Not this conversation, none of it. You were right to cut ties, and I just want to make sure that you are absolutely clear of this. Ben, they gutted my house. What? My house. They completely gutted it down to the studs. They, Ray, Ray, they what? did that to my home, where my wife and daughter sleep. How would they have known? I got them off world. They're in a safe place now, but whether I want to or not, at this point, I can't turn back. How can I help? Ray was one of the most selfless human beings I'd ever had the honor to know. He went way out of his comfort zone, time and again, bravely sacrificing over and over. I don't think I could ever truly make him understand how much that meant to me. I sent him instructions over encrypted texts and we finalized our plans. I thanked him again, we wished each other luck, and we said goodbye. The next time I'd see him was going to be a life-defining moment, and there was no one I'd rather have at my side. As I left the outer colonies behind, it was hard not to think of how steep the price of our freedom and safety had been. So much truth had been buried. So many people. 
O and I had tried to bury me, too. But they'd failed. I wasn't scared anymore, and I had something to say. How many sacrificed people was too many? As far as I was concerned, the answer was one. Well, oh man, I've been waiting for you to call. Uh, something very important to tell you. This is a recorded message. <laughs> Meshack, ha <laughs> Meshack. Meshack still haunted my dreams. I don't know if, uh... Every time I closed my eyes, he was slipping into that black bag, and I couldn't save him. I don't know. But I would make it up to him. What you're up to, or where you are, but dumb. I would make it up to Ray. I'd make it up to Pharaoh. I'd make it up to Petra, and Anthony, and Katrina, and Ellie, and everyone in the outer colonies. Everyone our government had kept in the dark. Really? Whether by choice or not. I couldn't have done it without you. Too many sacrifices had been made, and far too many of them had been people. I guess just what I want, I just wanted to say thank you. And I'm sorry. For the first time in my career, I felt like I was finally going to tell the full story. Every ugly piece, from loose threads to the rotten core. That's why it wouldn't all have been in vain. That's how I would make it up to everyone. I would give them the dignity of knowing the truth. I must have been nodding off when I got a call from Petra Janicek. For someone who had threatened me bodily harm on more than one occasion, she also, with far less fanfare, always seemed to check in to make sure I was okay. You know, if I didn't know any better, I'd think you were concerned about my welfare. Get over yourself, Jero. <laughs> Just wanted to find out what you um, found. Well, seriously, though, you, you've heard me apologize a, a hundred times for being such a well, jackass, for putting your reputation on the line, you know? But I figured you could stand to hear me say thank you again. Wow, well, you're welcome. For everything you've done. I mean, look, I... I, I really can't tell you how much it's meant to me. Just, um... That that's you... okay, okay, that's, that's enough. <laughs> Too much? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, now you're really ruining my reputation. <laughs> oh, no. I hope this isn't what the end of your story is like. You tenderly speaking from the heart. Oh, I thought everything else was bad, but ugh. anyway, I just I wanted to find out what happened with the lead. What what did you find? You were right. It was one in a million. Really? Oh, okay. What? What? Did I you... got everything, Petra. Everything. All the undeniable proof anyone could ever want. Be, be specific, Ben. Did you did you find anything on Biko? Whole story, plain as day. Not only is the chief innocent, but he saved the day. He pulled off the impossible. I've got everything I need to prove it too. And the best part is, I've got the UEG blatantly implicating themselves in legislative negligence and then conspiring with the Biko magistrate to cover it up. Coercion, bribery, all of it. Those arrogant pricks could have prevented the whole thing. And they know it too. O and I and the UEG have been sacrificing the chief this whole time to save their own asses, to distract the public from what we've been digging up on them. But now, all of it's laid out in the files that they never wanted us to see. I've got them. Dead to rights. No, Ben, they're just gonna suppress all of it. I mean, come on. They're gonna try. I don't know when it's going down or how they're gonna do it, but they've made some deal with Biko. They're gonna bring the real perpetrators to justice, but somehow still let the chief take the fall too. And I'm not gonna let that happen. We're gonna clear the chief and expose O and I. We? Who's who's we? Ray and me and Petrosky. Oh, the three amigos, huh? It's all going down tomorrow. Ben, you know you don't have to do it like this. No, Petra, it's it's okay. It's okay. I I know you're worried. I can't do this. That I'm sloppy. And, and you were right about all of that. But this time, it's no. I just don't want to see anything bad happen. I need to do this. So tomorrow, huh? What's your big plan? You get one of the balls of your editors at Magellan to bite on the story? No. I'm not passing this off. I'm going all the way. What does that mean? Actually, I was hoping you'd do me a favor. Send out a blast to your network about it. It, it can be offline, but trust me, no one's gonna wanna miss this. Sitting here on the freighter, getting everything ready for tomorrow, I'm struck by how lucky I am to be part of this. If Ray and Anthony and I are successful, all that darkness O and I has had us drowning blindly in for generations will finally light up. And it's because of the help of so many brave people. To everyone who's risked so much, and everyone who's left me messages, to all my friends, I want to say thank you. 
this will be my final transmission. Tomorrow, you will witness the ending to this story that all of us deserve. After that, I will be going dark, at least for a while. But depending on how everything shakes out, I hope to be back sooner than later. To everyone who's listened to my story, those who've stood up and spoken out, I want each of you to know that simply by owning the truth, we have the real power. And by sharing that truth, we wield that power. Please never forget that. It has been my honor and great fortune to have found myself at the nexus of all your impassioned opinions and honest stories. It's been truly humbling. So to all of you listening right now, I want to say, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Most of all, though, I want to thank the Master Chief. Chief, you have saved us in more ways than any of us, perhaps even you, could possibly know. You have sacrificed so much for us, and whatever the cost of my actions tomorrow ends up being, I believe it's a sacrifice we owe to you and all those who serve. And if I'm successful, in the end, everyone will know that you are still the savior we all needed you to be. Okay, but what is it? What are the particulars? We're going on ECB. I got a prime spot. Old producer friend hooked me up. Uh, We're going uh, wide stream, full distribution. Okay, uh, okay, you mean, you mean that Petra. you're gonna... Petra, tomorrow, we're going live on the networks. Potentially in front of every person alive. We're going to clear the chief's name before they burn him at the stake. We're gonna douse the real monsters in kerosene. Then once and for all, and with everybody watching, I'm gonna burn O and I to the ground. I'm Benjamin Giroux, and this has been Hunt the Truth. Okay, the first, that seems a little too good to be true. That seems like a really great way to uh, to end it off for Ben. Uh, but I suppose this is just the semi-final episode. Um, but uh, yeah, that that was really fantastic. And I think it's so awesome that he thanked everybody who sent him messages, considering that I was one of them. That's that's just great. Um, but yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to, Dilly dally too much, so I'm just going to move things right into the next episode, uh, which I will actually have as a separate video. So check it out on the playlist. It was likely uploaded around the same time as this one, so go ahead and check that out. And uh, while you're at it, if you like this video, comment, subscribe, like, and of course share it on your favorite social network. And uh, feel free to check out my playlist where I have other Let's Play videos that I've done. And I will see you in the next game. Oh yeah! Oh, that was a sweet double kill.